गाइस दिस इज जोल योर फ्रॉम जोल वेबसाइट डॉट कॉम इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोन टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू विच कंप्यूटर यू रिक्वायर टू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग एप्लीकेशन और स्टार्ट कोडिंग सो यू फॉर दिस यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग बेसिकली वॉट एपन इज आर कोड इज रिटन इन टेक्स ओके सो बेसिकली यू जस्ट नीड पावर टू योर कंप्यूटर शुड हैव इनफ पावर टू प्रोसेस टेक्स ओके so this can be done even using a notepad but now the downside of a notepad is that the you don't come to know about syntax errors when compiling an application so that's the reason we need to go for a text editor so now there are several text editors like brackets there are something called netbeans and there are many more other text editors okay so you can go for any text editor so you should know what first of all you need to know what text editor you are going to use you need to check the requirement for the text editor that you are going to use okay so suppose now if you are going to use a program like android studio so android studio requires more resources since it takes a lot of ram so i would recommend you having at least 2 gb ram in your computer and if you have a decent hard drive like 250 gb is more than enough so you don't need to spend a lot of money in investing in a hard drive you can go for about 2 gb ram and you can go for a minimum processor of core 2 duo okay so if you have a intel core 2 duo processor is more than enough some developers i know they use their old computers to develop applications okay so since they are developing applications since 2005 so they are using the same computer that was used from that time to what they are using today so they haven't upgraded their laptops so you can just see what the thing that i'm trying to say is that the computer that you are using is not important your knowledge is more important than the computer that you are using it does not make sense for you to purchase a very high end computer to develop applications the important thing is that your computer shouldn't be laggy uh, the computers configuration should be just enough that the when you're typing code it the thing you're doing is not lagging another tip that i will give you is that try to avoid installing things in your computer okay so just use it for developing if you are loaded your computer with several things then it is going to cause your computer to run slowly so just avoid installing unnecessary things okay in your computer so the moral of this video is that you need to buy a budget computer if you are just starting up it's sensible to buy a computer that just won't hang okay when a simple computer is more than enough for developing applications so buy a computer based on what text editor you are planning to use you can ask your other colleagues to find so that you get more information on this and then based on this information you can proceed okay so i hope this video has helped you purchasing a uh, good computer for your development um for what, whatever development purposes the last tip i would share is that i didn't not add it to the video but you can try assembling a computer by yourself okay you can order the motherboard the ram and the cpu and try assembling it by yourself but this is a bit risky okay or you, you can purchase a part separately instead of buying a dell computer so or if you buy the parts separately and if you create a computer by yourself the it the cost for your computer will drop down greatly so that's all guys um i hope you like watching this video stay tuned guys for more videos subscribe to my channel for more videos like this um take care guys and see you in the next video